Hey right, guys, bearded appliance repair here, and uh, we got a, a new kind of video for you today. We are announcing uh, a partnership with uh, GE and Smart HQ Service, um, and what we're going to be doing, what we're going to be talking about, is their service tool, their appliance service tool that they have been building for GE. Um, it's a little Bluetooth device. I have it hooked up to my dishwasher right now. It's this little device here. And you just hook it up to your dishwasher through an ethernet port. Uh, got it going through Bluetooth, connecting to my phone. And you can do a lot of different things with it. You can check for firmware updates. Uh, you can run loads, you can check air codes. You can do a lot of different things. Um, they are letting me use this. Um, they gave me an account. Gave me an account to use. Um, so I'm not paying for this at all. Full disclosure. Uh, they're letting me use it just so I can show you guys how to use it in the real world out in the field. And um, yeah, if you guys are interested in it, they have a website that you'd like to go to. And I'll have everything linked down in the description below. Um, but um, I'm going to let... Juan Morales talk about it a little bit. Um, he's the guy that's been in contact with me about, you know, showing this stuff to you guys. So uh, I'm uh, switching on over to Juan real quick. He's going to tell you a little bit about it and how it works with a dishwasher. And yeah, I think it's going to be a good partnership. I hope you guys enjoy watching it. And yeah, let's get right to it. Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. My name is Juan Morales, Senior Staff Field Application Engineer for Smart HQ Service here at GE Appliances. In this video, we will demonstrate how to utilize the Smart HQ Service app to help you diagnose some common dishwasher symptoms. What we have here is a GE Profile dishwasher and the complaint is that the dishes are coming out dirty. To be more specific, the customer is stating that the dishes on the lower rack are coming out clean, but the ones on the top are not. In this case, it is possible that water is not being channeled properly and you may need to check the circulation pump and diverter valve for proper operation. Now, typically, a service technician would enter test mode by pressing a series of keys on the user interface in a very specific order. However, this method is often difficult because it will require you to memorize each product's individual key code sequence, which may be different. But with Smart HQ service, Entering service mode is simple, and activating individual components is as easy as turning on a light switch. The first thing you'll need to do is connect your Bluetooth module to the dishwasher's Ethernet port located behind the tow kick plate. Take a look. Now, Open the Smart HQ service app, and in moments, your device will connect to the appliance. You can now view product information, recent bulletins, service manuals, and more. As you can see, connecting Smart HQ service to the appliance is extremely simple. And don't forget, this app works with both Android and iOS devices, which means you don't have to go out there and purchase additional hardware. Now, let's go ahead and run that circulation pump test, and to help us see inside the unit, we will attach the clear plastic cover. To run this test, click Next and select Operate Loads. Enter Service Mode, and click Operate Loads. Next, activate the water valve test to allow water to enter the dishwasher. While the unit fills, let's open up the watch box so we can monitor other components. By looking at the temperature, turbidity, and water pressure sensor values, we can determine if these components are operating correctly. A rise in temperature indicates the thermistor is detecting hot water is coming into the unit. The turbidity value tells us that the water is relatively clear. 
And lastly, a drop in pressure frequency confirms that water is indeed entering the unit. Now, using the circulation pump test, we can activate each wash area individually. Let's start with the lower spray arm and let it run for approximately 15 seconds. We'll turn it off and move on to the upper spray arm. Finally, let's activate the silverware wash area. As we can see, every wash area is operating correctly. However, if the test had failed, you would need to physically check for restrictions such as food particles or a loose wire connection. And if you're unfamiliar with the product, detailed wiring diagrams and other service information can be easily found right within the app. With SmartHQ service, you can instantly view fault codes and learn about the most recent service bulletins. You can even order parts on the spot right from the app, saving you both time and money. Alrighty, my friends, and there you have it. As you can see, the SmartHQ service tool is a must-have for any technician that works on GE appliances. Order yours today by visiting smarthqservice.com or call 502-714-2029 and one of our agents will guide you through the process. Once again, my friends, thank you for watching and remember that at GE Appliances, we are here to help and here for you. Yeah, so that is, uh... Yeah, Juan, he can explain it better than I can. I'm just now using this thing. Uh, for example, whenever I just hooked this thing up to my dishwasher, um, I found out that you could, or it needs a, a firmware update on my dishwasher. So uh, I'll probably do a video for that for you guys too. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll probably have that up here soon. But uh, yeah, that's a little bit about this tool and how value how valuable it could be to a service company so uh thanks for watching guys hope you have a good one